Good morning, everyone. It's Rose Coleman coming to you live from my craft room here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. It's putting some lotion on my hands. <laughs> it is winter. Happy spring. It's Easter weekend, but oh my goodness, we have been slammed with more snow overnight. I've got my other sweater on from my other sister. <laughs> um, oh my goodness, it is so cold. We've got snow still coming down. My husband says we're going to have flurries all day today. So it's a great day to stay inside and to make cards, scrapbook, um, all the stuff, paper crafting, right? Well, it's always a good day to paper craft, let's be honest. So I have today, today's Friday, if you're just joining me, if you're new here, um, on Fridays, I do like to share a fun fold Friday. Hi, Kathy. Thank you for joining me. I do like to share a fun fold with you. And today's is a super easy one. If you have this one tool, you're going to need this tool. And I am really, really sad. There's two of these in the catalog right now that ends on, jo on um, not June, a second. <laughs> the annual catalog, this annual catalog is leaving and to make room for all the brand new stuff in the new catalog, right? So we have a brand new catalog. Good morning, Joan. We have a brand new catalog starting. If you need a copy, if you're in Canada, um, let me know and I will send, I will give you the options to get your very own free copy um, with purchase. So the way it works is I charge $7. If you've never shopped with me before, it's a $7 fee to get this catalog sent to you because it covers the cost of shipping and the catalog. But then when you place your first order with me, I will give you a $10 rebate. So it's like a gift, right? Okay. Hi, Shirley Mercer. Thank you for joining me from Newfoundland. I don't know if you guys have snow in Newfoundland. That's my home province. Um, but we have snow here in Alberta. <laughs> Craziness. Anyway, I, I have two things I want to share with you today. Two things that are leaving and on sale. You want to grab them before they're gone. Um, honestly, I have no way to know if they are low inventory. Um, they are just, you have to grab them as soon as you can. And I have one of them and I think I'm going to go buy the other one today because <laughs> I need them in my life. Um, and I'll share with you why. And I'm also sharing a new bundle today. Hello, everybody. Hi, France. Hi, Jill from East Ohio. Thank you so much. Hi, Grace from Kitchener. <laughs> no snow on the East Coast. Well, I best be getting on a plane and, and coming home. I am coming home. This summer, I'm coming home. I'm so excited. We're, we are both from um, Newfoundland, my husband and I. We are from a small little town just outside Port of Bass. And Port of Bass is the place where the ferry comes across from Nova Scotia. And there's not very many people from that town, but we both grew up there. He was a year ahead of me in school and uh, we got married and we live here in Alberta now. Um, he went to Memorial University of Newfoundland and got recruited by an oil company. And 23 years ago, coming up 24 years ago, he took a position with an oil company and told me, we're only gonna go for two years. <laughs> yeah, right, 24 years later, we're still in Alberta, but that's okay. We do, uh, we are lucky enough to get home pretty much every year and I'm super excited. Our tickets are booked, the countdown is on, I'm gonna go home and see my family, so I'm super excited. I have been blessed by Alberta though, I must say. We have had great opportunities here. Our kids love it here, we've formed a, um, you know, a home here. We've built a home here and uh, it's a wonderful place to live here in Alberta. The mountains are like nothing I've ever seen before. I love the ocean, but I do love the mountains as well. It's so nice. And being in Calgary, we are so close to the mountains. We can just get away in an afternoon, you know, an hour's drive and we are in the beauty of the mountains. So I feel like I have experience the best of both both worlds and if i get to go home um, and see my family then i am one happy girl okay let's flip the camera and let's start with this card today because this is a super easy one and if you have these tools you can go make some today and i want to see your cards share them with me i love 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 to hear from you guys i love when people message me and tell me that they're making cards based on something I've taught in my Facebook lives that just warms my heart. And that is what it's all about for me. It's about sharing, right? So share, share your cards with me, share your cards by mailing them. I'm getting all kinds of messages from my family this week about getting their Easter cards in the mail. And honestly, it the joy is in the giving. It's really not uh, about the giving part. Well, it is about the giving for me, right? It just warms my heart when they message me and they're like, oh, you made my day, you know? 
they may not tell me what's going on in their day. If it's friends or whatever, They're, they might've had the worst day ever, but they went to the mailbox and they got a card in the mail. And that, you know, that just makes my day when I hear from them. All right, let's flip the camera and get started. <laughs> oh, hi, Janet. Thank you for joining me. There's the snow in my backyard. We're not even going to look at that. We're going to look at my desk here. I'm going to raise up and that's my mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. I love this little baby. It is my gem. Love, love, love it. All right, we're gonna play with some new in colors today. Look at all these beautiful, beautiful new in colors. I've shared these this week with you, um, but we're gonna play with them and make a card. We are going to play with a new bundle. Let me bring that in and show you. We are gonna play with flowering rain boots today. Oh, I love this set. It is a photopolymer stamp set, which means it's clear stamps. You can see exactly where you're stamping. You can see right through them. And then, but really what kicks it up a notch is the dies, you guys. Oh my gosh, there's a die for every image you see here. There's some extra dies. There's this border die. Look at the cute little uh, garden hoe. <laughs> oh my gosh, so cute. The little terracotta pot. This is a must have in your collection. And I have a PDF tutorial coming up next week. Right now I have, so far today, uh, this week, I have the cactus tutorial, the cactus cuties, but this is the next one up on my list to release for you guys. So super, super excited. Today we're gonna play with it and we're going to make a card and we're going to use something from the catalog that is leaving. And here's my catalog with my red pen all over it. These, hi, Linda, joining me from Muscat. Muskoka, is, did I say that right? Lynn, <laughs> Lynn from Muskoka, Ontario. Thank you for joining me. Look at these two punches, you guys. If you don't have a tag topper punch in your life, you need one. These are both retiring. And this one up here, the fancy tag topper is on sale for $15.50. I just checked, it is available. The delightful tag topper, which I'm gonna play with today, is also on sale for $24.80. These are $31 punches. This one up here, obviously that's half price, right? And 24.80, I have this one and I'm gonna be ordering this one today for sure, because I need them. These punches look like this. So when you, if you've never seen our punches, whoops, let's just, oh, I got paper stuck in this one. <laughs> let's just clean that out. There we go. Okay, so when you get the punches, there's a button on the back, okay? So you wanna squeeze it close and you push the button upward and then it sits flat. Okay, so you can stack them. They put a little picture here on the front so you can stack them on your desk high. You can stack them sideways and you can see exactly with what punch it is. So this is the delightful tag topper. There are tracks here. You see these tracks? This is one inch, then it's one and a half, then two inches. You can take a piece of cardstock and just pop it in here. This is how, honestly how I make tags. So hi, Ruth from New Brunswick. Thank you for joining me. I know that stamp set is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Okay, so you can take a piece of cardstock. I wanna make sure this is two. I like to cut it at two inches. And we're just gonna trim that down with my trimmer here. Two inches. And let's cut it in half and make two, right? Two inches by five and a half. Here we go. Two little pieces of cardstock and we're going to pop these in. So these are two, this is a two inch strip. So it's gonna fit on my biggest track here. Okay, so you just slide it in. After you open, make sure your punch is open. We're gonna slide it in all the way till it stops and then just punch down, okay? So then what you get is a tag. Attach your ribbon, you can put some designer series paper on here, you can stamp like crazy and you can write on here. And it's such an easy, easy way. If you need tags, Christmas time, whatever time, birthday, you need a tag topper punch because it is the bomb, absolutely the bomb. Okay, so we're gonna make a card using this punch and I'm gonna play with new in colors. So we're gonna bring in, this color here is called Starry Sky. This is a brand new stamp set, sorry, brand new ink pad color that's coming in the brand new catalog that starts on May 3rd. So we're going to use this today. And what it is, it's half a sheet, okay? So it's eight and a half by five and a half. And I'm not gonna score it in the middle. Usually I score it. Good morning, Carol, thank you for joining me. Um, usually I score the cardstock at four and a quarter, but for this card, you do not score. You just take it and you gently fold it over in half, okay? So we're gonna just line up 
the outside edges here and we're going to slip that in both of these edges into the punch. So we're going to slip it in here as far as it goes and I'll hold that up and show you. We're going to just make sure it goes all the way into the back of the punch. Okay, so we've got both pieces in here. No score line, just a gentle fold there. And then I'm going to punch. So I'm just going to punch it down like that. And then we'll slide that out. And make sure it punched. <laughs> Let's just make sure. You might want to give it another little push to make sure that it went through. You want to definitely punch, like this is the a test to our a testament of our cardstock, right? How thick it is. So let's pull that out, see what I did. Uh oh. Oh no, I didn't punch it hard enough. This is what happens. All right. <laughs> you guys know when you come here, you'll see all the boo boos and how to fix them. So guess what? It's just a piece of cardstock. It's not the end of the world. We grab another one, right? And let's try it again. I did make this card, so I do know it works. So you just got to um, go ahead and punch as hard as you can, right? You might want to stand up when you do this part. Okay, let's do this one more time. We're going to slide this, even up your edges, slide it in, and all the way to the back of the punch. Make sure there's no paper. I think there might have been some paper in my punch. Let's see. Let's slide this. I want to make sure these are even. All right, here we go. <laughs> After a while you have, yeah, you know what? This one is definitely had its use. I have used it. It's probably not time for a new one, you know that? There we go. It is clean. I'm checking the back. This one is absolutely clean. So now I'm going to open it up, pull this out, and this is what I wanted to get here. Okay, so we are going to bring back my paper trimmer. And we're going to bring in my scoring and my cutting blade. All right, paper trimmer. This is my other piece here, so I can make another card. So we're going to open this up. This is what it looks like. We have no score line, as I mentioned, right? And we have these two pieces here. So we're going to pop this into our uh, score, uh, cutting machine. Cutting machine. My, my paper trimmer. Oh, my gosh, where are my words? Okay, so we're going to trim off these two little rectangles, okay? One at the top and one at the bottom. So I'm going to start at the bottom here. I'm going to cut like that. Remove that one. And then we'll go up to the top and cut down like so. There we go. So we've got that one done. And then we're going to also, while I've got this piece in here, I'm going to now use my light gray tool and I'm going to score. Score along this edge. Okay, so we've got a little score going on here. So then I'm going to flip it over and we're going to trim the other side, do the same thing on the other side with my dark, dark gray cutting tool. And come up at the top, come all the way down. And you can actually feel it. You can feel the resistance when you're done cutting, when it cuts through. So we don't need these little pieces, throw those out. So this is what we're gonna have our card look like. So I've scored this piece. So now what I wanna do is take this one. This is why you have to trim those rectangles. I'm gonna line up this edge with my four and a quarter inch mark on my trimmer over here. And I want to make my middle, my center score line. So here's my score line, okay? This is how the card is going to fold together. We're going to show, well, this one needs to be scored. So we want these to be scored because they're going to come together and be tied with some ribbon, like so, like that, okay? Can you see that? So this is the front focal point of my uh, card. Yes, France, I love the new colors too. I'm so in love with them. So I had to use them today. So let's just go ahead and reinforce all of these score lines. There we go. Okay, so let's do some fun stuff. Let's bring in the pieces and do some stamping. Okay, so I have here a um, piece of basic white, four by five and a quarter. That's going to be for the inside of my card. It's going to go in here. I have a piece for the front that is that measures two and one eighth of an inch by five and a quarter. That's going to sit over here. 
<laughs> You're going to make a few of these, Kathy? Yeah, they're so fun, right? Okay, so before I stamp that, before I do these pieces, I have a piece of our crinkled ribbon, crinkled white ribbon. I love this ribbon. And I'm going to bring in some scrap paper. Let me just grab my little pad here. Okay, so we're going to use sweet sorbet and we're going to stamp our ribbon okay so i've got the little flowers from the set and i'm going to stamp those little tulips all over my ribbon okay so we're just going to go along the edge of the ribbon and i'm doing this first so that it dries a little bit before i attach it to my card but such a pretty image to stamp on your ribbon so you can go the whole length. I think I did about 16 inches of this ribbon. It's just so I gave myself lots to be able to tie a bow. And this is what I'm going to use to close up my card. And you can do this stamping of this white crinkled ribbon with any color, any little stamp that you have. So there's my ribbon. I'm just going to put that off to the side and let that dry. And then we're going to do some stamping on here. And I also have some scrap um, this is one of the new colors oh my gosh I love this color it's Tahitian Tide it is the prettiest prettiest blue I've ever seen so we're gonna stamp on this piece we're also gonna stamp okay let's do the stamping on the Tahitian Tide first so for the Tahitian Tide we're gonna stamp these cute little rain boots with tone on tone so I'm gonna do tone on tone so let's ink up our rain boots in Tahitian Tide and we're going to stamp right on here just like that make sure you get lots of ink on there there we go so we've got our nice little rain boots and i'm going to use my stamp and cut and emboss my mini boss to cut these out so let's bring that in so here's my mini boss close up my ink pad okay so for the mini boss your diameter or your uh, width for the bottom is three and a half inches, okay? So you wanna cut your cardstock to be three and a half inches or smaller. Let me just double check that measurement. Yeah, three and a half inches. So you can do that or you can just grab your scissors and I just like to grab my scissors and cut around the image like that. And I'm gonna put one of my cutting plates down. I'm gonna grab my matching dies that go over top and I'm gonna cut this out. But before I do, I was thinking rain boots are usually shiny, right? So if you've never joined me before, <clears throat> I've shared this a, a few weeks ago. This is a fun technique. If you have any kind of clear packing tape at home, you can take your packing tape and cut off a strip, a piece. Let me grab mine here, my ends. And I'm gonna cover my image. So a little bit of packing tape, stick that right on your rain boots actually it helps if it sticks off a little bit because it'll stay on your mat <laughs> um you can put this down you, you can use the tape and let it let it sit down on your cutting plate and then we're going to put the the die over top right so let's put the die on here like that and then last but not least we have to put our top plate on and we're going to run this through and we're going to get shiny rain boots yes I think in Britain they call them jellies. I don't know. Just thought about that. I'm not sure. <laughs> so we're going to have shiny rain boots. Let's check this out. There they are, you guys. Shiny rain boots. <laughs> okay, so it might have shifted on me a little tiny bit there, but that's okay. We're just going to go ahead with this. I do have my scissors. I think my, my die shifted a tiny bit, and I've got a little extra cardstock. But look. It's no big deal. You can fix it. You can fix it, right? If, you're, if your dies shift, you don't need to start over. Just bring in your scissors and fix it. It's paper crafting. There are no mistakes in paper crafting. All right, here we go. So we're going to just get rid of my scraps here, put my stuff away. I do have um, a piece of the new red. Oh my gosh, I'm calling it a red. It's the sweet sorbet. I went ahead and cut out the tulip die. Let me just bring that in and show you what I'm talking about. Um, this die right here, this is the same shape as the tulips. So you can do this. You can go ahead and stamp, you can cut out your tulips first and then stamp them. 
So I'm gonna do the same tone on tone effect and we're gonna stamp our tulips on top of the matching die cut. Saves you time when you've got your die cuts already cut out. So there we go, we've got our tulips, we've got our cute little rain boots. Okay, let's bring in our card base. We're gonna stamp on here. So we have, from this stamp set, we have the stems for the tulips, and we also have a greeting that I wanna use. It's, our friendship is naturally beautiful. So I'm gonna stamp that using Memento. Let's stamp our greeting up at the top first. So our friendship is naturally beautiful. Let's stamp that right at the top of this piece, like that. And then I'm gonna bring in, look at this parakeet party. Oh my gosh, it's such a gorgeous green. And I'm going to stamp the stems of my tulips with this color. So I'm inking this up and I'm just gonna grab my little rain boot dies and size up where they're gonna go and just lay them there. And then when I'm ready, I'll slide them out of the way and then I'll stamp like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and add these rain boots. I've got a little edge on here. As you guys know, I was fixing up my rain boots because my, my dies shifted. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead with this one. So this is going to sit right here. And all I need to do is grab my dimensionals. Add, I'm going to add three dimensionals to this die cut. And that's going to sit at the bottom. Right here. There we go, my shiny little rain boots. And then we're gonna put the tulips up here. And the best way to add those tulips is to use mini dimensionals. So let's pop those over and we're just gonna add a few of these little mini dimensionals. I love that Stampin' Up! has smaller dimensionals now because I used to have to take my bigger dimensionals and cut them with my scissors and don't have to do that now. You can buy the mini dimensionals and then you can get more value for your money, right? Cause you don't have to worry about cutting them. All right, here we go. We're gonna put these on top of the stems. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful this is. And this is gonna sit right here on the left side of my card. So let's grab my glue and we're gonna come in here and add a little bit of glue to the edges. And we're gonna stick this down on the front. So I've covered so far four of the colors, right? My card base is Starry Sky. My uh, rain boots are Tahitian Tide. The stems are Parakeet Party. And the blooms are Sweet Sorbet. <laughs> All right, so now, what else? There is this beautiful die I was telling you about. This is the border die. Stunning, absolutely stunning. So I went ahead and I cut it using the Parakeet Party. And I thought that would add a little pop of color to my card. So I'm just going to add my glue here. You can use the adhesive sheets and make this into a sticker, or you can take 10 seconds and just dab the multi-purpose glue on the corners, super easy. And then you can go ahead, let's pull this out and we're gonna put this onto our card base. I can pick it up. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna sit right here on the right-hand side. And look how the Stampin' Up! design artists have made this like perfectly the length of our card fronts, right? They know they know what size we cut all of our pieces. So this is gonna go on here. So I need an inside greeting. So the front says, our friendship is naturally beautiful. How about rain or shine, I'm here for you. Oh, such an amazing uplifting message. Then, whoops, let's bring this back in. Always stamp before you stick, right? Just in case you make a mistake. Rain or shine, I'm here for you. There we go. Also in this stamp set, there's a cute little terracotta pot. I'm gonna stamp that down here. Look how adorable that is. And then we've got this bloom of daisies in this set. There's so much, you guys, so many beautiful little images in this set. I wanna use them all. So I'm just gonna stamp the daisies on top. And of course, there's a die for the pot and there's a die for the daisies too. So you can totally stamp them and cut them out. I will color these later with my blends. And this is going to go on the inside of my card. Super fun. All right, let's stick her down. And last but not least, we are going to tie up that ribbon and embellish this card. Such an easy card. But nice effect, right, with the two tabs that go together. Here we go. So we're going to go ahead now. There's the inside. Now we're going to go ahead with our ribbon. Let's bring back that ribbon that I stamped with the tulip stamp. 
And we're going to slide this into both of these. And you don't even have to worry about measurements really for this card because you're just taking a half a sheet of cardstock, five and a half by eight and a half, and you're just folding it and gently putting it into the punch and make sure you give it a good oomph, right? If your punch is old, you may have trouble. That's why you need a new one. <laughs> Go grab a new one. They're on sale. And I, you know what? Then we won't have this punch anymore. I'm so sad. That's why I wanted to introduce this card to you today so that you can go grab your punches from my online store. Don't forget to use the host code you see at the top of the screen. That is my code so that I will know to send you a hand stamp thank you card and my gift in the mail. I appreciate you all. If you live in Canada, yes, you, um, I can only sell to Canadians. That is a Stampin' Up! rule, but you can grab your supplies before these last chance lists the last chance list is gone, right? This is called last chance because things are literally flying off the shelf over at Stampin' Up! to make room for the new stuff in the new catalog. So we're just gonna gently, um, gently <laughs> trim this. And I had way too much ribbon, but that's okay. I wanna give my recipient, you know, a good bit of ribbon here to be able to untie that bow and to be able to tie it back up again. Um, how about some bling? What about these brushed butter, brushed brass butterflies? I thought these would be so fun to put a couple of those up around these tulips because butterflies go so nicely with the flowers. So let's put a big one here and a smaller one over here. And you gotta have three, right? You gotta have three. So let's put another one down here. There we go. There we have it, you guys. Such a fun card. Don't forget to, about your packing tape to make your rain boots shiny because rain boots need to be shiny, right? So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed my video. <laughs> Flip you around here. If I've missed any of your comments, I will go back and read them. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for your love. <laughs> I see all the hearts. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate that. Thank you for sharing my video. And thank you for coming back. If you come back and join me every day, I appreciate you so, so much. Um, stamping really warms my heart and to be able to share it is really what, what my intention is, right? I want you guys to grab your stamp sink and paper and to make a card and send a card because it will truly brighten someone's day to get hand stamped mail in the, in the mail, right? So thank you so much, Marilyn. <laughs> Marilyn from Calgary, thank you. It's so nice that you guys pop in and tell me where you're joining me from because I, I don't know, right? So it's so nice. Have a great weekend, Carol. You too. I want to wish you all a happy Easter. I hope you take some time this weekend to pull out your supplies and make a card, send a card, and just uplift your heart by making, being creative. Stampin' Up! has truly changed my life. And, you know, the time that I sit at my desk here and I make a card, it really makes me feel better if I've had a bad day. It is like my therapy. <laughs> so I want to share that with people, right? Why keep that a secret? It's, it's too good not to share. Thank you again, everybody. I will see you all on Monday. Happy Easter, everyone. Happy Easter to you too, Rebecca. Thank you so much again, everybody. Have a great weekend, and I will see you on Monday morning at 930 Mountain Standard Time, my normal time for my live video here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.